Question 5. Molecule M present in the petrol. So M is a saturated non-cyclic hydrocarbon and it has 8 carbon atom. A carbon atom and its hydrocarbon. So N is saturated. So we know that is uh, octane. So C construct the uh, equation for the complete combustion of M. Okay, so for the 5A part 1, the equation is this one. C8H18 uh, plus 12.5O2. Uh, okay, so it's form 8CO2 and 9H2O. Okay, so must be balanced, uh, balanced equation. It describes how the composition of the products differ when in complete combustion of M. <clears throat> when the hydrocarbon in complete combustion, uh, it will form a few things. So it will form, of course, a, lim a limited supply of the O2. It will form carbon monoxide. Or it can form carbon carbon deposition or it has a unburned hydrocarbon and of course it has no CO2 okay so for part B when petrol is burned in internal combustion engine oxide or nitrogen release so it can be uh, nitrogen monoxide and dioxide. Okay. Normally for this, uh, it's related to acid rain formation. Suggest the conditions required for the production of oxide or nitrogen during the combustion of this octane in internal engine. Very easy. The condition is high temperatures and high pressure in the car engine. So it will break the NN triple bond and this nitrogen can react with oxygen now to form monoxide. Okay, give equation. Uh, you can give this equation or this equation. Nitrogens with oxygen form nitrogen monoxide or form nitrogen dioxide. Describe how acid rain is formed in the presence of oxides of nitrogen. So uh, in this one, you must uh, show that how the NO2 regenerate. And of course, you need to okay, identify the role of oxide of nitrogen in this process. Okay, the NO2 is the catalyst for the oxidation of SO2 to SO3 because it can be regenerated. If NO2 now reacts with SO2, so it will oxidize the SO2 to SO3 and itself will get reduced to form NO. And the NO will further react with oxygen to regenerate NO2. Then this NO2 go back to the previous stage and oxidize the SO2 again. And this, this process continue. That's why we call SNO2 as a catalyst. How the acid rain form? So you must show this. SO3 with the rain water uh, is formed H2SO4. This is the acid rain. Okay, next part, part three. State one other type of air pollution that is caused by the production of nitrogen uh, oxides. So nitrogen oxides with the hydrocarbon, it will form photochemical smog. Or you can just put PEN. Uh, both acceptable. Right? Photochemical smog or PEN. Short form of the chemicals. Part C, we have biodiesel T. Biodiesel is actually the ester. ester. So you can see the three ester groups here. So which uh, made from vegetable oil R. 
So figure 5.1 shows uh, the production of T from R. Okay, production of T from this R means from L, L then from the T. Okay, in the two-step process, later we come back to this part. Okay, in step one, all three ester group in R reacts suggest a suitable reagent and condition. Uh, very easy. Step one. Step one here, if R going to form L, so it must be a hydrolysis. So means the ester bonds must break. So when the ester bond break here, here and here. So this carbon will get OH, this O will get H. So this is the L that form. So means this one. So means in order to form L from R, it must undergo hydrolysis. So hydrolysis, you must use dilute. Lah. Do not use concentrated, must use dilute. Dilute means inside got water. So acid now with water together with heat, then hydrolysis will happen. Okay, part two. Draw the structural formula of J in the box um, of figure one five point one. J, yeah, J. So first we need to look at what is the the. Compound, okay, that or the groups that reacts, okay. So too many things here. So we know that R is undergo bond breaking just now, three bond breaking. So means this part will be formed. Just now I told you every oxygen will get one H. So means this one will get one H. Okay, this one will get one H. This one also will get one H. This one also will get one H. Right. So it will form this. This we call glycerol triol. Uh, so the <clears throat> because it's asked the structural formula. Uh, so it's better you put this lah. Okay. So is the uh, CH two. Because it's glycerol, huh? so here CH two OH CH OH CH two OH. That's how the structural formulas, okay, here how it's formed. Okay, I mentioned again. So it's CH2 followed by OH here, CH followed by OH here, CH2 followed by OH here. Then it's from this. Okay, part three. Name the type of reaction in step two. Step two, huh? Okay, step two, then from this carboxylic acid form ester. So we know that the type is condensation. Condensation. Name the organic reagent G that used in step two. Okay, so from this carboxylic acid, from this ester, so we know that okay, this one is contributed by the alcohol. So we just need to add one H here, then we will know what alcohol is it. So it's a methanol. Okay, you just name a name. Name means you give this name, not formula. Okay, L is called decanoic acid. Use systematic uh, naming system, nomenclature, to deduce the name of T. So this one is very easy. So this one, this is the methyl. So we start with this methyl and end up with this name. Methyl decanoic. Methyl decanoid. Right. 
That's the estimate. That's all for this question. Thank you.